Yo, YouTube, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another Shrine Showcase video. If you guys not seen this, this is a series where I, every Tuesday, every Wednesday? Every Tuesday I record it and then I put it out on Wednesday. I go through the Shrine and I take the two killer perks out of the Shrine and I kind of showcase them. I put them onto a killer build, I show what they're all about. That way, if you're like a newer player, you can kind of see what they're all about so you can decide whether to spend your hard earned shards on them. And if you're an already experienced player, you get to watch me suffer using strange perks that I normally don't run. So that's essentially what this series is all about in today's shrine for killer we have gearhead again which i'm pretty sure already did one on gearhead and then nurse's calling so this is uh this is an interesting this this just screams stealth killer to me like both of these just scream stealth killers so let's go through this together uh i'll pick a killer and we'll just do it before i do it though have you guys had the same pressure the same issue in the store look 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 i'm gonna go to featured look at this what is this blackness what is this? Why is there just a like a giant void in the middle of the store? This is usually where like they have like sale or like like little like posters or something, but it's like a void. Why is it just a big void? Anyway, that freaked me out a little bit. I just wanted to share. Anyway, uh, on to the builds. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go with Wraith here. I, I feel like I go with Wraith a lot, so uh, people might just be like, oh, Wraith again. But I think for this, I, I want to be stealthy, but also mobile. I was thinking about going with Ghostface, but the thing is, I want to be able to use my power at any time. Like with Ghostface, if my power goes down, like say say I, I like someone is, you know, gets revealed by, by Gearhead and I, and I know someone's on a gen. I want to guarantee the ability to go stealth and sneak up on that right if my power just gets broken on his ghost face then i'm not really able to do that whereas wraith can go stealth at any point plus he's really mobile especially if you run add-ons so i'm gonna go with wraith on this one even though i know i play wraith a lot but hey you know i like him so what are you gonna do so essentially the idea behind this build um well first before we talk about anything else let's talk about what these perks do uh, sorry I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself nurse's calling is a perk this is a nurse teachable where it has a bunch of text, but essentially it just, you can see auras of people healing up to 28 meters. That's essentially what the perk does. If anybody is within 28 meters of you and they're healing, you see the aura of them and the person healing them. So it's a pretty solid perk and um, we can combo this with Gearhead. And this is a perk where after hitting survivor twice with your basic attack, this activates for 30 seconds. And while during that 30 seconds, if any survivor hits a good skill check on a, on a gen, then the aura gets revealed for as long as the gen's being repaired. So even if, so, even if they hit it, and then they keep working on the gen for like I don't know, like another like sixty seconds after you know Gearhead's already deactivated, it'll still be showing up. Like it'll still be it'll still be glowing red. This is a weird perk because like it sounds neat, but there's so many weird requirements. It's like you gotta hit them twice for it to activate, and then while it's activated, they have to hit a skill check. But it also can't be a great skill check. It has to be a good skill check. It's very, very odd. Like, there's a lot of... It seems like there's, like, a lot of extra requirements to go into this perk for some reason. But it's really not... Like, it's not good, but it's not as bad as I think some people think. By the way, I'll be showing it in the, in the video, so it won't really matter. As far as rounding out the rest of the build, uh, Sloppy Butcher is a perk that combos really well with Nurse's Calling. Because Sloppy uh, basically applies Mangled and Hemorrhage to everybody. Mangled makes it so you take longer to heal. So obviously if it's taking longer for you to heal, it gives you more of a chance to find them when Nurse's Calling, right? Like the longer it takes for them to heal, the more that they're standing still and healing. And the longer you have to find a chance or to have a chance to see them with your Nurse's Calling, right? So these combo together really well. I almost feel like if you're going to run Nurse's Calling, I feel like you almost need Sloppy Butcher almost like the combo with it on most killers like it's just such a good combo it's it's just it's like a no-brainer and sloppy's not even a teachable too so like you can you can get this on anybody i'm also gonna run pop goes the weasel this last perk i could have traded out with anything i probably could have done anything regression i could have gone i could have done corrupt intervention i could have done i could have done extra tracking too if i really wanted but i want to see how gearhead works as my only tracking perk i'm not sure if it'll be enough or not but i really want to see if it'll work as my only tracking perk and then just run uh regression as well as like um, anti-healing, you know, just just to see if that'll work. With my add-ons, I'm running Windstorm, which is the faster move speed. That's gonna give me the mobility I need to maybe get to the generator that I see with Gearhead, or just to get around the map in general. And then Swift Hunt to help us come out of the belt or come out of the cloak faster, because it's just an overall powerful add-on for Wraith. And that's really it. Hopefully this uh, works out. Let's hop in game. Ooh, we got an indoor map too. Interesting. That should make this possibly better. I think. Like, generally, stealth killers, I think, just perform better on indoor maps because, like, it's a lot easier to stealth around, you know? Like, you know how Wraith is kind of like, kind of visible from far away? You know, he's a lot less visible when there's a bunch of goddamn walls in the way, you know? Okay. Hello, Nia. 
This guy's name is Get Juiced, and he's a Neo with a flashlight. So he's either going to be like a, a sweaty tryhard or maybe a potato. I don't know. One or the other. I guess we'll see. Or he'll be a, or he'll be a, 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 an attempted sweaty tryhard who ends up being an accidental potato, which definitely does happen sometimes. And it looks like that might be the case. Looks like that might end up being the situation that we have at hand right here. So Gearhead's now active because we got two hits. So now if anybody works on a gen, see, this is the thing about Gearhead. I just hate how inconsistent it is. Because, like, now if someone's working on a gen, I could know if they get a skill check. If they don't get a skill check, then I'm not going to know, you know? Somebody was right there. Like, I chased someone off that gen, but I'm not really too worried about it. And no gens are lit up. Well, someone is working on this gen. We just didn't know about it. See, that's why, like, ah, oh, man. It, it, it feels like a, like, okay. You're, you're limited to four perk slots, right? Like, you're limited to only four perk slots. So when you put on a perk, like you kind of want it to be like at least semi-consistent in what it does. And like, that's the issue I'm having with Gearhead is it just feels like a lot of the time it just doesn't, I should have M1 him to activate Gearhead, oops. It feels like a lot of the time, I just don't feel like it's consistent enough, you know? They healed under hook 100% because they unhooked pretty recently and I'm sloppy. So they definitely were under hook. They might've just got right back on that gen actually. That one being worked on? Did I hear that correctly? Pfft, hi. Are you going to revolve that? Hello. How are you? What are you doing, man? Okay, gearhead active. I kind of want to keep an eye on that one because I thought I heard it being worked on. Maybe. So if it lights up yellow, I'm going up there. I'm going up. It did. Well, I'm going to kill this guy first. I'm going to kill this guy first, and then I'm going to go up there. Did I spook you? Wow, you weren't spooked at all. You weren't even slightly spooked. You were unspookable. You're the unspookable. Okay, I'm gonna go up there because I know I know he's up there. And that's a pretty good a pretty good gen to like sneak up on people on. Honestly, if I was ghost face, I'd probably get a grab here. This is like a really good go for grabs gen. Well, you know, all that just for to get it done anyway. Maybe I should have went sooner. I probably should have went sooner because I think I had pop goes the weasel up. I think I misplayed that pretty hard. I'm not really used to running pop because it's not a perk I run often, but I think I I think I think that was a bad decision there. I think I should have ran right up there the second I saw it light up. Scared her off of it and then kicked it with pot. Probably would have been a much better play. But you know what? You know what? Taking two downs at separate, at separate sides of the map is also A-OK -okay with me. You know? I'm also cool with this as well. I ain't, I ain't going to complain. We have Gearhead activated again. But again, it's not really doing much. If we can find a gen that's worked on a decent amount, we can... Where'd this guy go? We can maybe get some of that sweet, sweet pop value. Alright. Oh, there he is. Hi. How you doing, Tap? What up, bud? How you doing, bud? It might also not be a bad idea to, just, uh, to like, spread damage. Uh, they're not really giving me an opportunity. Like, this guy's kind of, like, rushing to the hook, though. They're not really giving me much opportunity. But if he was, like, running away, like, if I see somebody else, I might bail from the chase and chase him. Like, that's exactly what I wanted. I Like, like spreading damage does not sound like that bad of an idea right now, you know? I kind of like the idea of spreading some damage around. Deadheart, dude, do it! Do it, Deadheart! Hey, thank you. Thank you for Deadhearting. Thank you. I appreciate that. My man. Whoa, nice teleport. Woo! Gearhead is currently active, but I don't think anyone's gonna be doing gens. The tat was injured, and these guys just unhooked. Yeah, that's, well, here's Nurse's Calling, though. That was Nurse's Calling, so we know where he is. 100%. Hello! Well, hello! What are you, what's, what's, what are you, what are you gonna jump? What are you gonna do? Jump, huh? What are you gonna do? Jump? Okay, they heal under hook, so I know I know the other guys are right over there under hook. I might get hit. I might hit him and then drop down. I'm gonna hit him and then drop down because those guys were under the hook and they're gonna be going for the unhook like right now. They're gonna be like right in this room, maybe. Wow, there's no doors on this side of the room. That's really awkward. I imagine they were probably slowly working their way towards the unhook, but this room is so awkwardly shaped that they probably went some weird route. That's really annoying, because the, the, if those doors weren't shaped that way, I'd probably be able to, like... Yeah, they were actually over here. Well, That's annoying. Good old Hawkins, and it's RNG. Um, Man, I gotta tell you, I don't know where your team is. I gotta tell you, whoever unhooked you, they kind of fucked you over, because, you know, I was looking for them, but then they stealthed away. So, uh, sorry about your luck, dude. But I guess you're dead. Sorry, man. I sort of tunneled, but, you know, at the same time... Felt like I didn't have much choice there, you know? You know? No, there was really no no trail other than yours, you know? <gasps> Look at all this gearhead value, though. I'm actually going to kick this with pop. This is like the first gen I've seen that's actually been, like, decently worked on. 
Look at all this sweet, succulent gearhead value. We also have people over here. This guy's probably much, much less likely to know that I'm coming. And he already left the gen. What? Do they have spine chill? Are they terrified? Are they are they, do, are they really in into the dead by daylight horror experience? What what was that? Why did that guy leave the gen? Interesting. I think they might be scared. I think they might be really experiencing the true horror game. Hello, Cap. Well, we can hook him and then kick this gem with Pop 2, which is pretty nice. So we can do that real quick. We haven't really seen much of Nurse's Calling, man. Like, we saw him healing at one point. And we kind of saw the Nia, too, but we kind of already knew where she was anyway. So I don't think it really mattered too much. We need to spread damage more. I think to really see good value out of Nurse's Calling, you got to, like, spread damage, you know? If you get, like, everyone on the map injured, then anytime they ever try to heal, it's, like, huge. But at the same time, they're kind of making it hard. See, this could work. This could work. I'm going to leave her. We're going to find whoever the full health person is. Maybe? Bro, whoever is unhooking is just stealthing like crazy every time. Like, I don't want a tunnel, man, but they're making it really hard. Oh, I didn't. I don't, For some reason, I didn't think you would do that. I kind of forgot that was there. This is one of those, like, killer forced tunneling moments, you know? Like, I don't want a tunnel. I would very much like to just spread damage out and hit everybody. Okay. I'm going to say something right now. If you want to be a good teammate as a survivor, don't do what this guy does. This guy right here, don't do what this guy does. If you want to hook somebody, especially if there's no obsession, like the fact that there's no obsession right now, it would be really easy for me to just chase whoever gets unhooked and hook them over and over again until they're dead. I could just tunnel everyone to death. Like, it would be super easy. Um... If there's, if you don't want your teammates to get tunneled or if there's no obsession, when you unhook somebody, like take the aggro, you know? Let yourself get chased. Take the chase for the person, you know? Like don't hide. Don't like slowly crawl into a corner and hide and then leave the only thing there as a gigantic blood trail. Cause then your teammate's gonna get tunneled. Like your teammate will 100% of the time get tunneled, you know? Give the killer a chase. Give the killer a chase, you know? Do, do, do your buddy a favor. Do your buddy a favor. That guy just died though. These guys were healing up. Oh, nurse is calling. Pretty quality stuff, dude, I gotta say. Pretty nice. I wasn't sure if he was gonna dead heart or not, but I guess not. Nancy. Na 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 Nancy. She did dead hard. Wow, I got a weird bonk there. I got quite a weird bonk. Right, alright, alright. You can use this pallet. Yes. His pallets all suck. You're going to die. You're literally dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Just like that, you're dead. Gearhead's active, but I don't think this guy's going to be doing a gen. He's probably going to be hiding and then looking for Hatch, which is probably the correct play here. I'd be very surprised if a gen lit up right now. I'd be very, very surprised. So I felt like... Well, actually, he kind of was doing a gen. I feel like... Like, Gearhead was the only tracking perk I used... On this on this on this match and i felt like it was okay but i'm not sure if it was because of gearhead being an okay tracking perk or if it was just because we're on an indoor map as a stealth killer and also you know yeah like we're on an indoor map as a stealth killer it's pretty easy to find people on an indoor map with a stealth killer like they can't really see you coming to get like a to get like an initial hiding you know they have less line of sight of you and you can kind of just zoom around you know i feel like it was pretty easy to find people on this map but honestly it felt pretty solid. Like, Gearhead definitely didn't feel terrible. Didn't feel good, but it didn't feel terrible. But hey, there's uh, there's game ones in the books. Game one of the books. Let's go for, uh, let's do let's do a second one. All right, GG's boys. They're all red ranks. They are definitely, definitely all red ranks. So that's pretty solid. I mean, I don't know. It went pretty well. Quad Iridescence. Oh my God. What a gamer. What a gamer. I mean, hey, went pretty well overall. Let's go game two. Okay, Shelter Woods. Good, 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 good. I was hoping for like a little bit more of a more open map. Just see how that worked too. I didn't want to do, but I was really hoping I didn't get an indoor map twice. Because I feel like that's a little bit unrealistic, right? Like getting a stealth killer on an on a, on a, on a indoor map is like a good thing. So I feel like if I got that both games, that would be a little bit unrealistic as far as how things usually go. Hi, friends. You're way too slow on that, buddy. You are way too slow on that. Like I appreciate the hustle, you know? I, I, I dig it. I like the effort. But you're a little bit too slow. I'm going to fake this. What? She just went around the other side. 
You're crazy. You're actually crazy. What the hell? She plays this so weird. She just leaves. Sick dead heart, dude. The sick is dead heart. Okay, Gearhead is now active, so we'll see if we can get any anything out of that. Dude, she played that hella weird. She, like, refused to loop, and she was just like, yeah, no, I'm leaving. Yeah, no, I'm not looping. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Gearhead, talk to me. There we go. Sp talk to me, Gearhead. Hook me up, man. Hook me up. Ooh. We're going to kick this real quick. We're going to give up that far gen. That's okay. Having, I, I think keeping a metal gen up is much better than keeping a far gen up. Because middle gens make it a lot easier to have like a three gen strat later on. So that's a-okay with me. I didn't think that would reach. I just figured I'd go for it. Hmm. This pound isn't super safe. Yeah, like you're going to get hit. Not the safest pound in the world, you know? We could maybe still go harass that gen. We could actually possibly still do that. Are we blocking it? <laughs> we were blocking it. Ah, well, he blocked me from harassing the gen, but that's okay. We got the down. I wasn't sure if I was blocking that pallet or not. If you stand, like, directly in the pallet, sometimes you can block the pallet throw. I'm not going to actually commit to her. I just wanted to hit her once. They healed under hook, so they're going to be too far away to get this to get this pallet throw. I didn't want to commit to her. I just want to get a hit. Like, like spreading out damage, Sloppy Butcher, makes it way better when you, when you spread out damage. And again, that comboed with... Uh... Oh, hi. That combo with a, with Nurse's Calling is going to be fantastic. Because, like, now if that Fang gets healed or if she heals herself somewhere while I'm, like, running around cloaked, I'm going to I'm gonna see exactly where she is, you know? Which is pretty nice. I don't know where this Yui went. It was, like, no scratch marks. She might be behind that rock. I'm really not sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scratch marks on my feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you are. Hi, you're a Kate. You're a Kate. I saw a Yui, right? Did I not see a Yui? I thought I saw a Yui. I'm not sure. Oh, speaking of which... Speaking of which, nurse is calling, baby. We are we got nurses on the phone, baby. Nurses are on their phone and they are calling me, dude. They are calling me. <laughs> you wanna talk about the fact that you just like teabagged for a long time and then fell for like one of the easiest mind games and not fall for it? Do you wanna talk about it? Would you like to discuss it? Would you like to maybe have a like, maybe call a conference? You know? We can get the nurse involved. I I hear she loves calling. We can get her involved. She might love to hear about this. What is this? So I know they're on that gen, but like there's a dude literally right here. <laughs> Dead hard. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking up so much. All right, well, damn. I was gonna leave her on the ground to kick that gen with pot, but they got it done, so what are you gonna do? Man, these guys are uh, going for fancy plays and like just fucking it all up. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I would say fancy plays, but like, I think they're just fucking up. I think it just boils down to they're fucking up. They're definitely fucking up. Hello, friend. Oh, you were behind the rock. I was going to say I know you were behind the rock, but then you somehow slipped out without me noticing. Okay, you got the T-Wall vault. Are you going to go back to the pallet? Yes. You're going to vault it? You're going to fake it. Well done. Good fake. Very good fake. You're gonna go back to the T wall, touche. You actually know how to how to run, how to run this loop pretty well. Touche, touche. Color me impressed. Looping two tiles together, pretty. What the fuck? Looping two tiles together is pretty solid, man. Pretty good play. I'm impressed. Touche, touche. I'm impressed. Oh, you've been waiting at the corner. Look at you. Look at you. Well, I'll be damned. Um. <laughs> She's like, there's only one thing for me to do now, dude. There's only one thing for me to do. I gotta break this totem, man. I gotta start breaking this totem. Okay, they're way over there somewhere. Let me hook her. Maybe, we'll, like, nothing really happened with Gearhead right now. Gearhead was active that, that whole time. And we got no auras. But maybe we can see something with nurses. And we do. Well, I would have saw that even without nurses. But, you know, the point still stands. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Buddy! Ah, I mean, that's pretty tempting. That's pretty hard to not chase there. Didn't she have dead hard? I could have sworn she had dead hard. Why did she not use it? Right? I think she had dead hard. I can't remember. Did, did Feng dead hard me earlier? Oh, either way. Either way, she dead now. She dead now. Jeff ran this way. Somewhere. Don't know where. We can see if a, if a gen is worked on so we can kick it. Hey. 
Perfect. 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 The, the, the good thing about running pop on Wraith, I know this video isn't about pop, but the good thing about running pop on Wraith is that like with these windstorm add-ons, you can like get the regression without losing all the distance. Also, these guys don't seem to understand that you can body block with Wraith. They keep trying to run right through my body. That guy definitely has a decisive strike. These pilots aren't that strong anymore, man. Like, they're really not that strong anymore. They have been heavily nerfed. Oh, I wasn't sure if he's going to wait or not. Okay, all right. All right, I see you. I see you. I see you, Jeffrey. I see you, Jeffrey. I see you. I'm with it, Jeffrey. Throw on that gen over there. I'm going to try to hook him real quick and then maybe get over there with pop. But I don't know if I'm going to make it. They've been working on that gen for quite a while. Like, that's been, that's been there for a minute. That dude's causing a ruckus for some reason. Don't you finish that gen. Don't you motherfuckers. You sons of bit. Oh, hey, she lifted up this pallet, too. That was really cool of her. She hoisted it, dude. She fucking hoisted. I respect a woman that can hoist, you know? Okay. I'm just going to kick it. She knows what she's doing as far as, like, linking these tiles together, so I got to just get rid of it. She's already shown that she's pretty decent when it comes to, like, how to play these. Okay. That was unexpected. Pretty good play, I got to say. There's also a pallet here. Yep. Get it out of the way. Sure, sure, sure. We might drop Chase to go after somebody else. Well, unless she does that. Man, if I would have just never stealth, she literally would have walked right into me. Touche, Yui. Touche. Very good fake. You really sold that well. I got to give her credit. That Yui's pretty solid. I'm going to chase somebody else, though. She's in a pretty good spot, and she's doing a good job of looping. So, like, I need to find somebody else and get some get some pressure. Where did these scratch marks go? What? I'm so confused. There was, like, scratch marks there, and now they're just gone? I'm actually really lost. I don't know where the hell they went. Oh, Lord. Hello. Oh, my Lord. This is where all the survivors are. Hello, hello. Hi. You're just going to throw that, aren't you? Yep. 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 You're just going to throw God Pallet. Yep. 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 Just going to chuck God Pallet out of the way. Yep. Well, she's running like far away from all the gens, so it's not really worth chasing her. I'd rather pressure near the gens. I'll get this Jeff instead. She's doing the whole throw every single pallet and run super far away from the gens so that they have to chase me away strat, which, uh, you know, pretty simple, but pretty effective strat, I gotta say. Like, that's a pretty effective strat. If you just hold W far away from everything that's relevant, kind of makes it pretty hard to want to chase you, you know? I can actually just kick this because he's kind of zoning himself out. He's putting himself into the corner, which means he's, he won't get any distance to get anywhere else, so. Easy kick, baby. Easy kick. Jeffrey, come here, you sweet son of a bitch, you. Did we, ever, did we leave this up? We did. All right. They might finish that gen, though. I got to hook him and get back there, like... ASAP, like yesterday. They probably actually have it done. I, I I think if that Fang went right back, they probably have it done. I'm not even gonna stealth, because if they're there... Oh, wait, no, they got it done. Oh, this is a different gen. Never mind, we're fine. All right, she makes that. That's okay. Boop, boop. Okay, I thought they got a different gen done, and I thought the gen that they were working on was still up. That's why I was like, oh, fuck. But it's not, it's not even that bad. We're fine. I don't know where the third survivor is. The third survivor might be on that gen down there. It, and, and if she is, we're kind of fucked. But that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to be fucked sometimes, you know? It happens. Hi, what are you? You're looking kind of lost. You're looking a little lost. Yui. Yui, I know you're here. Yui? There you are. There you are. Hey, dude. Gear heads up, so now hopefully we'll know if he's doing that gen. Hopefully. Like, in a perfect world where they actually get a skill check, we would know. Again, and this is kind of the issue with, with Gearhead, is, is it's inconsistent. Like, you would think if Gearhead was a good perk, then we would know for sure if they were doing that gen, right? Like, while it's active, we would somehow know 100% if one of those gens are being worked on. But right now, we can take a guess, you know? But there's really no way for us to know 100% sure if either one of those is being worked on. Kedar, do it. Do it. Do it. What the fuck? Did she not have dead arm? Well, they healed. They didn't turn green the whole, or they didn't turn yellow the whole time. So maybe they weren't. Maybe they just weren't being worked on. But again, there's always a chance that either A, they didn't get a skill check, or B, they did get a skill check and they just hit the grate, you know? 
And if either one of those two things happened, then we wouldn't have known anyway. And again, that's what I find really annoying about Gearhead. The fact that it's not consistent. I really like consistency in my perks. You know what I mean? And it just doesn't really feel like Gearhead provides that consistency. I gotta start getting rid of some of these pallets. I've left these things up for way too long. That's not being worked on. This is being worked on, but only recently. Only very recently has it been started being has it started being worked on. We're gonna hit her once, then we're gonna go kick this with pop, and then we'll follow her. You really like teabagging on every single pallet drop, don't you? That's like your that's like your signature move, isn't it? Isn't it? Every single pallet drop. Every single one. Same thing. She, gets, she hits you with the light, the light, gentle teabag, you know? The very light, sensitive Fengmin teabag. Where are you going? I thought she would fall. Dude, she has no idea what she's doing. She has no idea what day of the week it is. I'm going to assume that this Feng's teabag. Oh, God! Good flashlight save. I'm going to assume that this, this Feng's teabagging is like her just laughing and having fun. And not like a taunting the killer and like thinking she's tough shit because not to be rude, but like, mm, you know, you know, he's not exactly playing the, the best here. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I know how you play. I'm on. I'm on. I, I, I get you. I get you, Kate. I understand you. I get how you play. See, I know exactly what you're going to do all the time. I'm in your head. I'm in your head, Kate. I'm in your head. I'm in your brain, Kate. I'm like Plankton in that episode of Spongebob where he takes over Spongebob's body and makes him break into the Krusty Krab to steal the Krusty Krab formula. That's me. I'm Plankton and you're Spongebob. I'm taking over, motherfucker. I know what you're doing. Also, I don't know what gen they're on, but Gearhead, if you can help me out. Gearhead? Gearhead, you're fucking useless. You're literally useless, Gearhead. You're so bad, Gearhead. Gearhead, if you would have helped me even slightly, we would have maybe had a chance to not get this gen done. If you just gave me some information, Gearhead. Gearhead, if you weren't Gearhead and you were, you were instead like Thrilling Tremors or Barbecue and Chili or a perk that was actually useful, I think we maybe could have pulled this game through. But unfortunately, you're not. Unfortunately, you're actually Gearhead, which really sucks. That really sucks for us, I gotta say. Well, how much do I want to sweat? Because we might still be able to pull this out. Right? She's probably on this gate. She's not on that gate. What? Is she on that gate? She's on that gate. She might get it. Oh, yeah. She's got it. She's out of here. hi -oh! Yep, she's gone, though. She's off to the races. Okay, we're going to go back and get Yui. Yo, the teabagging Fang that was like... Oh, I was going to say something mean. I was going to say something mean. I was going to say the teabagging Fang that didn't really know how to loop is the only one that lives. I was going to say something mean, but I'm going to not be mean. I'm going to not be mean. Um... Hey, where you at? Hey, what up, buddy? I'm honestly kind of surprised she didn't have Unbreakable. I thought she might Unbreakable out of here, but I guess not. And there you go. There you have it. I mean, that was that was it. Again, I, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll summarize my idea of my or my my views on the perk at the end. But I mean, I think you guys already kind of got a feel for how I feel about Gearhead based on uh, the last like five minutes of me talking. But hey, GG's. All right, boys. Oh, we got a perfect game for blood points. Check that out. I don't think we got a perfect game for emblems because we didn't get a four kill, but we got a 32K game, baby. Let's go. Easy 32K. Hey, Touche. I mean, that was a pretty fun one. I got to say, these guys were pretty solid. And uh, I honestly overall just had a lot of fun. There was some fun chases. It was, it was a good game. It was a very good game. GG's, boys. All right, boys. That's it for the Shrine Showcase. I hope you guys like this. Uh, just to give my final thoughts on these perks. Um, first off, let's start with Gearhead. This perk is just trash. It's honestly just not very good. I, I I do think it like like I feel like some games Gearhead comes in clutch, and I'm like, ooh, Gearhead actually seems kind of solid. Ooh, but then some games like that last one that I just played, I, I feel like man, I wish I literally had any other perk other than Gearhead right now. You know, like I feel that a lot. Like Nurse's Calling, or sorry, not Nurse's Calling. Barbecue and Chili could have done the same thing, but better. Thrilling Tremors could have done the same thing, but better. There's so many perks, like even Discordance. There's so many perks that could have done like essentially the same thing but better and more consistently so gearhead it's just too inconsistent man it's too inconsistent you only get a 30 second window it activates at a semi-random time right like like when you get two hits it's not random but like 
it's not really like an always active thing. It has like a 30 second window where it's active. Even while it's active, you they they had to have us they had to get a skill check and then they also have to hit a good and not a great. It's just like it's too many like requirements. It's just not consistent enough. It's never consistent enough for me to like leave into a build. Like I would never replace other perks with this ever. It's just I don't know. Other perks are always going to be better. So skip on gearhead. Don't bother with gearhead. It's not worth your shards. It's just not worth. Nurse's calling, however, is a very solid perk. Um People used to call this one of the best perks in the game for killer maybe like a year or two ago. Uh, since then, I feel like it's it's still loved a lot. Like this is still a perk people run very often. And I do think it's really, really solid, especially if you're playing um, at like a lower level where you run into a lot of self-care gamers because self-care takes so long that it gives you even more time to find them. So this is really, really good if you're running into people that self-care a lot. Uh, I will say, though, that it is a nurse perk. And Nurse has other pretty solid perks, like Thanaphobia and Strider are her other perks, and they're both pretty solid in their own way. They're both, like, pretty niche. Like, I think I think Thanat is a great Legion perk. I think Strider is, like, a great uh, Spirit perk, as well as even, like, a Nurse perk. So, like, you could make an argument that, yeah, even though Nurse's Calling is good, maybe it's worthwhile just to level up Nurse and get all of her perks, just for the sake of having all three of them. But if for some reason you're not really interested in, in playing Nurse, or you're not really interested in either getting Strider or Thanatophobia, and this perk looks like something you'd want, and you don't really want the rest of it, then yeah, feel free to spend your shards, you know, by by all means. But really, I would recommend, uh, uh, I think I would recommend leveling up Nurse uh, overall, like like above both else, because I think, I think her perks are generally pretty solid, and I think you'll benefit more from just getting them all unlocked and then saving your shards for something else. Um, but anyway, that's it. You guys can make the, feel free to ignore me. I mean, you guys can make the decision on your own. I'm just here to give you some advice, but you can feel free to ignore me completely. If you guys think Gearhead looks like the super, like, if you think it's like the coolest perk you've ever seen in the world, then by all means, man, spend your shards. Go nuts. I mean, I, don't let me tell you what to do. If it's something looks cool, go for it. But that's that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it a lot. Uh, like the video if you guys did. Like, give it a like. Helps me a lot with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel as well because I'm uploading literally daily. And also stop by my live stream on Twitch sometimes. I'm there. I'm there six nights a week over at Twitch tv slash otofu so feel free to stop by and say hello and i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night i'm getting out of here see ya take care see ya i'm out of here see ya uh see you later see ya.